Welcome back mga kadii from our previous video we discuss another method in solving differential equation of order 1 which is the linear equation of order 1 so we have example here para makita natin how to solve a linear equation of order 1 so for number 1 so we have find the general solution of y dx minus quantity y to the fifth plus 3x dy is equivalent to 0. So, yung ating first step, as discussed before, is tingnan natin muna kung saan ba siya linear. Linear in y ba siya or linear in x? So, pa natin malalaman kung linear in y ba siya or linear in x? Makapansin natin dito sa equation pa lang na to, yung ating y na isa, yung ating y sa second term is naka pip term o naka pip exponent. So, meaning yung y natin, meron na tayong o mayroon na tayong idea na si y na hindi tayo linear in y. So possible that is linear in x. Pero tingnan din natin kung linear in x ba siya. Kasi kung sakaling hindi siya linear in x, so hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung ating method sa linear of equation of order 1. Pero since y to the fifth, nagka mayroon tayo ng idea na posibleng hindi siya linear in y. So paano natin mapapakita yung linear in x? So, tapat meron tayong x prime plus p of y x is equivalent to q of y. Kasi yan yung standard form natin kung siya ay linear in x. So, kailangan natin ng dx dy. So, from our original equation, so we have y to the p plus 3x dy is equivalent to 0. So, gawin lang natin dyan. Since kailangan natin sa x prime, so tapat, this is dx dy. So, divide both side by dy. So, malitira tayo dito ay dx dy na. Kaya lang, kung mapansin natin, sa first term, wala namang siyang y, ba? So, divide din natin siya ng y. So, divide din natin ng y. So, malitira lang dyan is dx dy. Tapos, Ito, makakasel na. So, minus y to the pip plus 3x all over y is equivalent to 0. So, meron tayong x prime minus pag sinimplify natin to that's y to the fourth minus 3x over y is equivalent to 0. So, kung titignan natin yung equation natin, so, tapat, yung P of Y natin, ang narito, times X, o yung X lang natin, na solo, ang multiply natin sa P of Y. Then, yung Q of Y natin, wala tapat X. So, mula dito, gula natin dito is X prime plus X Gawin natin yung x times negative 3y. Transpose natin yung negative y to the point sa right hand side. So, that's y to the point na lang. So, meron na tayong standard form. Second step is kunin natin si b o yung integrating factor. Si b o b is equivalent to e integral ng 3 over y dy. And, ni negative 3 over y, dy, ang integral niyan is e, negative 3, ln y. Pwede natin simplify siya as e, ln y, raised to negative 3. This will be cancelled out, properties ng logarithm. So, magiging b natin is y raised to the negative 3. So, by formula, sabi natin that is xb o xb is equivalent to integral ng q of y times b dy. Ang b natin is y to the negative 3. Is equivalent to ang q of y natin is y to the point. So, x, y, negative 3, y to the point. Ang integrating factor natin ay yung b is y to the negative 3 dy. 
So, pag sinimplify natin to, that is x, y, raised to negative 3, plus integral ng y, dy. So, next natin dyan, diretso natin, so that is x, y, negative 3, is equivalent to, using power formula, that is y squared over 2, plus, since may over 2 na to, gaya piyahin na natin to, so c over 2. So, simplify lang natin to, may y negative 3 tayo dito, para mawala, multiply by y cube, para mawala yung 2, multiply ba natin by 2. So, pag simplify natin, that's 2x, is equivalent to y to the fifth, plus c y cube. So, pwede pa i-factor itong y cube. Kung gusto mo masimplify, or pwede ito na yung final answer mo. So, yan yung ating solution if you have an equation of order 1. So, next video is another example ulit tayo. Thank you.